Time for another computer build. Hopefully this is a quick one, because I don't have a lot of space here. Part of the project is this, an Asus AAN SLI Deluxe. And if you think I'm going to be experimenting with the SLI, you're absolutely right. It's the first time I've ever done anything with multiple video cards. Yes, really, I have never used multiple video cards in a system. It's a fairly decent board. It's got an Athlon 64X2 4200 Plus CPU on it, which I will be going ahead and repasting and reinstalling the heatsink on. Really nice heatsink as well. Nice copper plate. I think this is the slightly upgraded version, or at least the next model up from the A8N 5X that I've also got in my possession. Of course, the difference being this one supports SLI and all that. I wonder if I'm going to need this power connector here on the board. I may have to go ahead and plug that in. I may go ahead and plug it in anyway. But we'll go ahead and see. I wonder if the CMOS battery is any good. But I gotta paste this CPU and get this heatsink installed and we'll get the case out. Here's the case. It's equally as massive. It's an Antec case. I forget what the model is. If I even knew what the model was. Certified for Windows Vista. It's probably the biggest Windows Vista sticker I've ever seen. I don't know what the point of this is. Uh, it's supposed to be a quick release little system, but you only get one of them and there's an empty bay there. It's already got an optical drive and it's already got a floppy, so I don't need to add those into my own collection. In the front here, I think you get LEDs, you know, bling, whatever, and some ports, which get to cover it up. It's not in the best of shape, but it's okay. If there's one thing I'm not really fond of, it's the side panel. Which is kind of annoying to get off. Go ahead and have a look in here. It does not come with screws. I do hope I have all the standoffs. I'm starting to wonder about that. And I'm starting to starting to wonder if I've got enough standoffs to mount this board. Hmm. We may need to come up with some standoffs. But uh, here's the fan. The rear case fan. With speed control and everything. Comes with a hard drive as well, which surprised me. I didn't think it had a drive in it, but as I was cleaning it out, I noticed there was a drive. It's just a Barracuda ES. I think it's a Barracuda ES. No, it's a 7200.10, but it's still only 250 gigabytes. So, eh, good enough. So I'm going to go see what the deal is with these standoffs, rearrange them if necessary. Um, it's kind of too bad, really. But, uh, yeah, I should be able to rearrange them. I'm not going to put too much effort into this, especially if this motherboard doesn't turn out to work, so... We'll see. I can always pull it back out again and install the rest of the standoffs later. Okay, I've done something a little bad here. Do not do this, especially not on a system that you care about. But since I'm not sure if this board even works, I'm not going to invest the time, money, and effort into finding enough standoffs to mount this properly. So I've got five in there now, the five that, were, that it came with, mounted in a sort of X pattern. So that way there is hopefully not going to be any you know, sagging spots anywhere on this board. If it works, I could go into work tomorrow and find the four standoffs that I need. Pull this board out, install them, reinstall the board, and everything should be just fine. Now, next step is installing all of the peripherals. So, should have SATA cable for that, the one hard drive, IDE cable for the that up there, and the floppy cable for that. I don't know if I actually do have a floppy cable or not, so I guess I'm going to find out. But uh, it's coming together very slowly. And just for testing purposes, again, because I'm not sure if the board works, I'm not going to get one of my big video cards, waste all the time putting a dual slot cooler in there and then have it not work. So I have this random 7300 GT that I know works. And we'll try that first. All right, time for the first power up. Everything's hooked up, including that connector down there on the board, and the, uh, the stuff on the front panel, which I'm pretty sure is just some light up stuff. 
you know, some bling bling, if you will. I can't believe I just said that on video. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, better switch the monitor first. Let's see what it does. If this power supply is even any good still, probably not. Wouldn't be surprised if this power supply has failed. Because it didn't come on. Of course, I can't get the front panel open. Oh, here we go. Do we get video? Bad memory. All right. So, let me go check through my stash. Check it out. It posted. That's nice. I had to reseat the video card. I'm not sure what happened there, but reseating the video card and changing that RAM seems to have fixed it. So, unfortunately, that RAM is not what I thought it was. That's a, that's a kid of two, so that's... All that is is two gigs as opposed to four. Oh, well. Sometimes you don't get everything. You can always pull the uh, the four gigs off of that A8N SLI, or sorry, the A8N5X, and put that in here. In fact, I may do that. Give me just a minute. Check this out. CPU temperature is actually colder than the motherboard temperature. Nice. <laughs> uh, I don't know how real time that is, although the fan speed's changing, so I imagine it's pretty real time. Probably should keep that cool. 1200 RPM, sure. Of course, disable the chipset fan warning, because that's irritating. Drives me nuts. CD ROM, then hard drive. Then we can do the LAN. So we have the one hard drive. We have one CD ROM. Boot up floppy seek. I'll leave it disabled for now because it doesn't. Uh, security. Exit saving changes. Did it shut down or is it still on? I can't actually tell. And I was correct thing on the front is just a bunch of bling. And I'm going to have to fix the front panel LEDs because those are definitely hooked up backwards. So now I wonder if there's anything on this hard drive. I kind of doubt it. Hmm. Oh, yes there is. Probably won't boot on this system. But, again, it looks like I'm going to get quite the surprise. Really starting to run out of space here. Alright, last thing to do here. As you can see, I fixed the LEDs. I'm gonna go ahead and boot into H.2, check out the status of this hard drive, probably zero it out. And I'm gonna reuse it. I'm not sure, but I may end up taking one of these SSDs and using that in this. Because I've got a few that are laying around, and I don't need all of them. So. We'll see. Well, it looks like it's in good health. Pretty high hour drive though. But it's in good health. I'm going to conclude the video with that. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to actually turn off that stupid sleep mode thing. In fact, I'm going to do that right now because that 
didn't do what I think it did, or thought it was going to do. Right. Instant off. There we go. I think I'm going to run out of space before it manages to post. So that's pretty much it for the video. When it ends, it ends. That'll be that.